The Chest of Ours is next up. This is a Group 3 4 3 odds over a mile and a half. A trial for next week's Derby. And Gambit is at the top for Martin Leedham. House Hayden for Dan Hughes. Malt to Paul Rhodes. Punto Rasso. Darren Thompson. Raiding Party. Leon Van Rensburg. Rapturous Calm for Craig Allen. And Terrible Ancient for David Robertson. So seven in this. How many of these will be Epsom bound next week? And away they go. The great gambit closest to us was out okay. A little bit slow to go was Morse, but they sorted themselves out through the first furlong or so, and they're pretty tightly packed through the first furlong. Uh, probably just about going to be the grey house agent, but now Morse, the one that was slowly away, has come through to take it up, although immediately cornered by House Hayden, who's now gone on. So Hayden. <laughs> House Hayden is the leader from Morse in second, then the second Great Gambit is in third, Raiding Party is in fourth, and then Terrible Ancient with Rapturous Calm, and finally Punto Rasso. The Grey House Hayden is clear as they come up past the stand, past the winning post, with a full circuit of the track to go, and Grey's to the fore with House Hayden in the lead from Gambit in second, and then Morse third, Raiding Party is fourth. And then Punto Rasso, a terrible ancient, and finally Rapturous Calm in the green and yellow at the back. But House Hyden is clear. By about four lengths to the second grade gambit. And a Morse on the inside. The purple jacket of Punto Rasso closest to us. The dark blue at Raiding Party on the run up between those two. The hoops of Terrible Ancient, green and yellow at the back of Rapturous Calm, but it's House Hayden in the lead for Dan Hughes. Morse is in second, then gone past Gambit, and comes a Raiding Party who's just a little bit stuck for room at the moment. Raiding Party's going to need a little bit of a split. Is it going to cut the inside of Morse or is it going to cut the outside of Morse? Gambit just keeping him in at the moment, so too is Terrible Ancient. So no looking running at the moment for Raiding Party, but it's House Hyden who's clear. House Hyden is two lengths clear then with just over three furlongs still to go. Then comes Morse in second. The rest of them are virtually all in the line with the exception of Rapturous Calm who's struggling out the back. But House Hyden leads by two lengths to Morse in second. Now Terrible Ancient's come through in a third and Raiding Party's finally got a clear run in fourth. Ponto Rasa around the outside. Gambit caught a bit flat footed. Rapturous Calm at the back is trying to run on but they're inside the final furlong and a half and Nothing's got to this house hiding yet. House hiding is clear of Morse in second. Terrible Ancient, then Raiding Party, Ponto Russo. It's House Hayden, well inside the final half for them. But I don't think they're going to get anywhere near this one. House Hayden's going to take the race pretty easily up towards the line. It's House Hayden that takes the chest of us on Morse second, then Raiding Party and Ponto Russo. Rapturous claim, Gambit, Terrible Ancient drop right out of it. But a race that basically turned into a procession and... Difficult to tell how good a trial that is for the Derby because the rest of them were nowhere near really. Excuses maybe for Raiding Party who got boxed in a little bit, but Morse didn't really get anywhere near the leader. And House Hayden, easily the top rated horse in the race, takes it for Dan Hughes. Morse was a second for Paul Rhodes. Raiding Party for Leon van Rensburg, third. Punto Rasso for Darren Thompson, fourth. And Rapturous Calm for Craig Allen, run on to be fifth.